Okay, so before I start, any birds that you don't see that you saw on this channel before, they probably have gotten rehomed, but all the birds that I show you today are going to be the only birds that I have. So, hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so the first budgie that we have is Cotton. Cotton, I've had her since early 2017. I got her from PetSmart and she is a wannabe mom. She'll find anyone's nest box, even if it's not hers. She will go in it and try to make it hers because she's a want-to-be mom. Um, she also is a magical whore. She always tries to mate with other budgies just to lay an egg and like become a mom. So I've always used her as a foster because she is sometimes a great foster. Just she's like really stubborn, so she only does like good when she wants to. But other than that, Cotton is one of my first oldest buddies that I have. Um and I really love her, so yeah. Okay, the second budgie I have is Ernie. Along with Cotton, I got him a day, like, a couple days later than Cotton. But if you never see Cotton, you'll never see Ernie. They're like Bonnie and Clyde. They're like tuna in a can. They're like macaroni without the cheese. They're like a mop without the bucket. So, yeah. um, Ernie is a very 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 chirpy and happy budgie um once he starts chirping he can't stop so it's like you have to be up for like the next eight hours to watch his concert because he won't stop the show must go on um also he's the only natural budgie that i do have so he's he just like brings life to like the budgies that I have because he's the only wild type that I have but yeah give it up for Ernie guys okay so the third budgie I have is Cashew Cashew ever since that he had he has always been my best friend and it really really changed my perspective on budgies a little bit because like in him I can see him acting the way that a budgie would act but he's also very friendly and compassionate towards me probably because I've always had him since he was a baby and I always was around him like this bird is literally my best friend um so just like Ernie and Cotton if you don't see me you don't see Cashew um Cashew also talks so it's just a whole lot with him like he's a very very special bird I never would have imagined that he would be that tame and as close to me as he is but I really really love this bird and I can give a whole Easter speech in an inauguration about this bird but this is not that type of video just know that Cashew is one of my first ever like tamest birds that I ever have had he is just very special so yeah okay the fourth budgie we have is mumble mumble is a male open line english split clear wing budgie um i got him from a lady off of facebook you guys can watch his unboxing video um i'll link that in the description below but he is a he was very small, I would say, when I first got him. Like, you can kind of see Ernie towering over him in height. But he's a very, very happy and cheerful budgie as well. Um, he has gotten bigger over the last few months that I've had him. Well, it's been a year now. But he, he really, like, brings light, I would say, to my flock. Um... All of my males does do, I would say though, except for Cashew, he's very quiet and reservative, but what am I trying to say? Just know that uh, Mumble is my fourth budgie, um, and yeah, let's go 
on I don't really I can't really say anything about him because I haven't had him for like two years three years so it's not a lot to say about him besides that when he dookie it's big because he's a big bird um and when he chirps it's loud because he's a big bird and when he flies it's loud because he's a big bird I don't know Okay, so the fifth bird we have is Nelly. Nelly is a bird that I found on Craigslist. It was an ad, so you know what I had to do? Yeah, I had to get on that highway I-85 and I had to head down there to the mountains because I was not gonna let her go. She was on the ad for a long time and it was like, when I see birds that I really, really love but I think they're gonna be gone, they never go. So I'll be like, okay, so I have to get this bird before she actually like gets gone. But I feel like she was waiting on me. So I went to get her and I did not make a mistake. Like I really, really love this bird. Um, she's a clear wing and um, she has a powerful bite. The first time she bit me, I almost peed my pants because wow, that was like a uh, crab pinching me for trying to eat their legs or something. That was like a hawk clawing me down because I tried to like, you know, take that snake. That was like a turtle that had snapped my finger because I caught them on the hook. Like, that was so, so crazy. But she has had her first clutch earlier this year. Um, that was the video that went, that is going still gaining a lot of views and I'm like so shocked but also I gotta let y'all guys know that that bird did not die so the people that's that's in the comments saying that the bird died the bird did not die actually this is what the bird looks like after it growed up but I rehomed it because I did not want it so yeah uh, she had a clutch of three actually I'll do an update Okay, so the sixth bird came from no one other than Majesty and Cashew. Um, here is little Bemo. Okay, so a little story on Bemo. Bemo is a full body gray wing budgie. Um, I don't, okay, there he goes. He was very dull in color and I thought he was gonna be a clear wing, but like his wing markings were very dark. But as he molded, he become he became a very, very dark blueberry color. So like, he was actually supposed to be rehomed, but like I couldn't find a home for him in time. So it just kind of prolonged things, and he ended up actually just staying and becoming part of the flock that I have. So yeah, that's little Bemo. Um, he started to chirp more and he he is just a he looks very much like cashew and i know the colors are different but it's just his face he looks like cashew but he kind of has colors of majesty a little bit but yeah he's my little part of majesty that i still have so i probably won't rehome him and yeah Okay, so the seventh budgie that I have is Lila. Oh, voice went a little too deep right now. Oh, let me bring it up. Um, so this is the bird that I had got from a ad off of Craigslist as well. So as you guys can see, like I don't buy any birds from PetSmart anymore. The last bird that I did get was Ernie, but Lila, after I seen that ad, you know what I did? I hopped on that highway and I just drove to I couldn't drive no more. And she she is like she was what I was missing. She was like the icing on the cake. She was like the strawberries with the whipped cream. She was like the pecan without the pie. Like she was what I was missing. And so I paired her with Cashew and Cashew and her I wouldn't say they're buddy buddy because like she has a little secret but I'm just gonna keep that between me and her but yeah okay the eighth and ninth verse that I have is Zaxby and Fine 
so these pinches like really really changed my like way of thinking about them because i used to like not have interest in them at all but i found like a different mutation that really like brought my interest back into finches and it's I don't really know what the mutation is called but I just know that they're orange and they're called full orange finches sometimes but um they really like help me a lot and I really like find joy in watching them I can watch them all day most of the days I'll be late for work because I just sit there and watch them because they're like so entertaining and they're so funny like look at his little legs like they look like chicken legs like <laughs> and I named him Zaxby because he looked like a piece of uh, Zaxby uh, hot chicken yeah so <laughs> I really really love these guys for real all jokes aside um they are different colors so it really like make me look at them not as zebra finches but a different species of bird and i really find that interesting but yeah okay so i don't know if you want to count these but if you will this adds 12 birds these are the three babies of zaxby and fine and i don't want to speak too much on them because i don't know if i'm going to be letting any be rehomed or if i'm going to keep any but basically this is what they look like and i don't want to speak too much on them but they are part of the flock for now so if anything changes i will let you guys know but yeah that's them and let's go on to the next okay so the 13th through 16th birds are pilgrim Maple Muffin And Lola I don't really have anything to say about them Other than they are new And they're from Chicago And they can beat anybody's butt But that's it That's all of the birds that I have Um This is what they look like together In the big flock Um I just remember starting off at this many and ending up at this many. It's just so, so crazy. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.